Did you read your dinosaur book? Did you take a quiz on it? No, that's okay. All right, you wanna go choose a new book right over there and I'm gonna check this one in. It may look kind of strange to have a media specialist on a sidewalk checking books in and out, but there's a good reason for this. Because of the looming pandemic, Mrs. Pace thought, what a better way to safely deliver the library and its books to the students. Why not make a pop-up library and bring the fun and excitement to them literally on their doorstep? And I wanted them to have a bigger selection and obviously I can't roll three or four carts into a classroom so I'm like oh well let me just do a pop-up library right outside the classroom doors and so I have about 75 books on the cart and so students are able to walk around and choose the books they want versus me just giving them a limited selection in the classroom. All right Brooks enjoy your Star Wars book. Because even though they're young, they still have interest and they're still curious and they want to learn about specific things. And if for some reason I don't have it on the cart, then I'll make sure that I get back down to the classroom with the books. The students really seem to enjoy the sidewalk pop-up library. Even though they don't have a plethora of books, they still end up finding just what they're looking for. So it's been exciting um, to be able to have my pop-up library for students because um, it inspires them to continue reading. Even though they can't come to the media center, I didn't want that to be um, a hindrance for them. So I'm glad that the teachers are on board with it. That they, they're they excited that I set up outside their door and they can just send students out. And so we'll continue this until they're able to come in the library and freely um, peruse the library and check books out. Did you get one, Silas? <laughs> 